understand clearly. <laughs> huh? This is already the answer, I mean, in some ways, yes, but... Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have forgotten what is the question. Please remind me about okay, the question. This was uh, just like a statement, not a question. So what? No, it is a question. Uh, what's about the? the you also the forgotten the question. <laughs> <laughs> That's good idea. <laughs> Let us forget yeah, everything. Yeah. Let us yeah, be in our conscious state. <laughs> Question. <laughs> question, please trigger him, trigger him. No further questions after five minutes sitting here. No, she, she was asking about. <laughs> Now I got it. <laughs> from the source that yeah. the bad ideas are coming up and, and wars ah, are being yes, yeah, Now I remember the question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I come to the point now. I come to the point. I'm just <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, now I got the point. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> See, it's a good question really. Because good things are happening in the world, bad things are happening, wars are going and charitable work is also going. How come it is? You say that we are not doing anything. We see that oh, Bill Laden only put the kings on the twin tower. You say God is doing everything. Is God is just blasting the twin tower or something like this? That's the question, no? Is, is the mind uh, a part of the source? Or yes, mind is, mind is nothing but uh, uh, total of the thoughts, collection of thoughts. We call mind. That's it. Collection of thoughts. Many thoughts put together we call mind. You know, there is no separate entity of mind or thought. But when I use mind here, I, I just mention unconsciousness as mind I'm mentioning. Not the memory. When I say I'm not including memory into that. Unconsciousness. Is mind little little m and mind big m? But little m mind also apart from the source? Yes. Now let us see detail how it comes. Let us first finish one by one. Because you are so much attached to the body consciousness. We are so much associated with the body consciousness. We are so much recognized with the body. You see only my body. You conclude, oh, Atmanambi is doing that by just identifying it with my body. Because you are already identified with your body, the same way you are seeing me also. What state you are, only you can see my state. <laughs> is it not? So, you conclude by my expression, final expression, action, oh, he is doing, she is doing, all these things. Let's go back. How the action happens? There must be a process of action happening. It's not happening just like that. Before the action, there must be some dialogues. Before the dialogues, there must be some thought level going on. Some thought, one thought makes the whole action. One thought makes the whole action. If somebody thinks I am a, I am a good person or a holy person, all actions will be based on holiness. If a same person thinks I am a thief, all thief activities will be going on. It's only one thought makes the whole difference. Please understand. Action is final expression. Action is a final expression. Before that, words are there, thoughts are there. Go back. See, the problem is, uh, I call someone spiritual who is going beyond the thought. Is also I call spiritual person. But other three things are not spiritual. It's called material. 
once the consciousness forms a thought level, it becomes material. Every thought is a material. Don't think thought is spiritual. Thought is material. It has a component of material. That's why I say don't waste your thought. If you waste your thought, you are wasting like your money you are losing. Every thought is one euro. <laughs> if you waste hundred thoughts unnecessarily, you are losing hundred euros per day. It's material. Money is a material, thought is also material. Please understand. Now, let's see what is the source of the thought. This is an important point. This is where a person is spiritual person or non-spiritual person is demarcated here. It is not a question of just shaving the head, putting a long beard, putting a colorful dress, all these beads, all these kind of symbols. No, 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 no. <laughs> enough is enough. Anyone can. Yeah, go to the shop, all these things are available. Go to the barber shop, he will clean your head. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you are a holy person. You just don't shave, it will come like a saint. <laughs> your effort is very less there. The beard will come like this, even if it go up to this level. Doesn't mean you are a spiritual person, or a meditative person, or a holy person so called. No, these are all external. Here starts actual spirituality. If we could be able to go beyond, like a spiritual scientist, where the thoughts are arising from, what is the source of it? If you start your journey, you have started your journey. Till then, no. You are still a material person, not a spiritual person. Now let us see what happens to the thought. Go backward. Don't come forward. Forward is the action, is the final thing. And also the result is still final thing. Result. For every action there is a result. Is it not? If I just touch this way, one result I am getting. If I touch this way, another result, it may break it off. <laughs> Results are there out of the actions. You understand? Now let us go back. Thought. Let's see thoughts how the thoughts are coming, from where it is coming, source of the thought, go back. You will end up with the consciousness. There is nothing. All thoughts are arising from one source. Please understand. The source of the light. The source of Omkara. Om is the place, starting place, where the thoughts are arising. That's why I used to have Om, Om, Om every session. Let's go to the source. Understand now? It's not ritual I'm saying Om like a tape recorder. <laughs> <laughs> om has got such a place. Now you are a task now. <laughs> I'm answering you. Und dadurch auch gut und böse 
Shanti 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 Shanti